people had a lot of kids. I was an only child. I guess my folks decided to have their family in one large economy-sized package. Stop looking, Don. If she turns to water, there's enough of her to drown us all. <laughs> oh. Donnie, you haven't eaten a thing. What's wrong with your appetite? Nothing. I'm just that very hungry. Oh, he's probably been eating between meals again. No, I haven't, Dad. Honest. It, it's the liver. I don't like it. Donnie, last time we had liver, you had two helpings. I must have been out of my mind. There's no reason why you shouldn't like liver. It's good for you. Maybe that's the reason. Now, I've had just about enough of this. Either you finish your liver or you can leave the table without your lunch. Uh, come to think of it, I don't gain much by that, so... I'll take my plate in the kitchen. I promised Bill I'd help her today. Donnie, are you sure you feel all right? Sure, Mom. I'll take the platter in if you don't want any more liver. Oh, I... Okay. How about you, Dad? Well... I knew you wouldn't. It's not very good anyway. Alice, has it occurred to you that Donnie's acting very strangely? 
frankly, I have never seen him help Beulah before. Exactly. I'm not a prying parent, but I'd sure like to know what Donnie's up to out there in the kitchen. You keep watch at the door, Beulah. Okay, but more and more, I'm liking this less and less. I'll get strong, Mama. Hi, strong heart. Lunch time, boy. Uh oh, get that dog out of sight. Here comes your post. I thought something was up. Nobody could look that innocent without being guilty. What do you mean, Dad? Donnie, stop pretending. Now, why were you so anxious to bring all this food out here? Well, um, you tell him, Bill. Well, it was for Bill. Me? Uh, you see, business has been very bad as a fixer, chop, and Bill ain't been eating regularly. Ain't that right, Bill? Oh, so that's it. Bill, you should have told us. Uh, 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 he's just so weak from hunger, he can't talk. Oh, well, how long has it been since you've eaten, Bill? Mr. Harrow, that's what I was trying to... Uh, three days. Three days? Oh, you must be starved. Here, dig into this, Bill. Oh, no, not now, Mr. Harry. A man as hungry as I am, got to take it slow and easy. Well, uh, don't make Mr. Harry think you're ungrateful. Dig in and restore your vigor. Yes, come on. Sit right down here, Bill. Come on. Okay. My, he is weak, isn't he? Go ahead, Bill. How is it? Delicious. <laughs> oh, he's just so choked up with emotion, he just can't thank you. Uh, now, you folks go back and sit down. We have peach cobbler for dinner, and I'll fetch it right in. Oh, good. And see that poor Bill gets plenty to eat. Yes, um, Come along, dear. Woman, someday you're going to go too far, and I ain't going to ask you to come back. Peach cobbler. Mmm, that looks great, Beulah. I hope you saved enough for Bill. You folks are mighty understanding. You don't realize what that plate of liver did for him. We're very fond of Bill, and he can count on us any time. That's right, Beulah. He'll never starve as long as Harry Henderson can... What was that? I hear nothing. You hear that, Ellen? Sounds like it came from the kitchen. Donnie, we heard a strange noise out here. What was it? Oh, that was me, Mr. Harry. I ain't a well man. Must you sound like a trained seal? Oh, it's not that. I'm just afraid I'm catching the whooping cold. <coughs> oh, Bill, what a shame. Yes, and life can be terribly cruel. <coughs> well, it wasn't you that time. Woo! Woo! Well, Bill, are you two? Oh, uh, 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 I reckon I must have caught it from Bill. Well, if this keeps up, we'll have to turn the whole place into a hospital ward. I hope Donnie doesn't catch it. <coughs> Woo! came from this cupboard. No, Dad, please! No, you're in it, too. Well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Oh. So, it's a dog. And Beulah and Bill were helping you. Don't blame them, Dad. I beg them to do it. No, well, I suppose I mustn't blame them. You can be very persuasive. Now, where'd you find this weird animal? On Oak Street. You know you've been forbidden to keep a dog. Now, you take him right back to Oak Street and leave him there. Oh, gosh, Dad, he won't be a bit of trouble, and he'll stay out in the yard. Donnie, you heard me. Smuggling a dog into the house is bad enough, but, but trying to fool me is even worse. Mom? Donnie, you better do as your father says. Okay. Come here, Strongheart. At least you had a home for a while. about it, Bill. Donnie's folks are going to run things the way they see fit. Yeah. I feel real sorry for Donnie. He felt about losing that dog like I'd feel if I lost you. I don't know whether I like that comparison. Oh, just kidding, baby. Just kidding. Donnie did look sad when he left. His little lips was quivering like a dime's worth of pink putty. You would help him keep strong heart if you could. Sure I would, but there ain't a chance. No, I don't know. You might talk it over with Miss Alice and Mr. Harris. Yeah, and I could tell him his little heart was about busted. That's right. 
and that it was about to pine away. Sure. And it just ain't fair to do it to it. <laughs> hey, don't waste your waterworks on me. Go and irrigate where to do some good. My, the laundry certainly did pile up this week. Two white shirts. Two white shirts. Four blue shirts. Four blue shirts. Three pair of socks. Three pair of socks. Bula, are you unhappy about something? Oh, no, ma'am. I never felt happy in my life. Well, if you say so. Six hand towels. Six hand towels. Bula, you are unhappy. And I think I know why. It's because Harry and I made Donnie give up that dog, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am. I haven't thought about the dog. It's left my mind entirely. Ten napkins. Ten puppy dogs. I, I, I mean, ten napkins. <laughs> Beulah, you mustn't let it upset you. You see, Harry and I made a rule and... Well, my hands are tied. Well, I sure wish they'd bust loose. Right now is the time when Donnie needs the dog. He's at the awkward age. The awkward age? Too old for toys and too young for girls. I, I, I hope we haven't hurt him too much. Oh, I expect he'll get over in time, say, like a year. That long? Oh, he'll be brave. He won't let nobody know how fractured up he is. Bill, I, I wish you wouldn't talk about it. He'll run out in the backyard and fling himself in the weeds and cry fit to kill. Billy, don't, don't say that. And then at night he'll lay in his little bed with tears running down his innocent little cheeks. Billy, please. Oh, but he won't blame you all. He knows you've done it for the best. <laughs> it's not for the best. Donnie should have a dog. You mean that, Miss Alice? Yes, I want him to have one. Well, that's more like it. We better stop crying over these clothes. You no, know, you send them to the laundry pre-sprinkled. Bill, I'm glad we got together on this. I can see now how, how completely wrong I was. Well, it turned out okay. Can we finish the sorting now? I got some other work to take care of downstairs. Have you got a lot of extra work today? Yes, am but it's coming along fine. Already half done. Oh, it's you, Bula. What do you want? I uh, just dust in the den, Mr. Herrick. Must you now? I'm trying to concentrate on this report. Well, I have a regular schedule, Mr. Herrick. Two, I scrub the kitchen floor. Two fifteen, dust den. Two thirty, piles of silver. It's two fifteen now, dust den. Well, don't let me interrupt your schedule. Go ahead and dust den. Uh, Mr. Herrick, could I ask you a question? Oh, I'm sorry, Beulah. I haven't the time now. Just dust and try to be as quiet as possible. Yes, I'll be as... Quiet as a mouse walking on peach fuzz. All right, I give up. What is the question? Oh, it ain't much, Mr. Harry. Come on, out with it. Uh, well, all right, well, sit down. Let's have our little talk. Thank you, Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry, were you ever a little boy? Well, of course I was. I started out life as a member of the male sex, and I stayed with it. Now, what brought that up? Well, something happened today that sort of made me wonder. Oh, you mean Donnie and the dog. Well, I may have seemed stern, but uh, the boy must learn to obey. He sure misses that pup. Maybe it ain't too late to back up. Beulah, once I've disciplined him, I can't give in to him. I'd lose face. That means more to you than it would to me. My face wouldn't be much of a loss. Yes. <clears throat> well, I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, did you have a dog when you were the boy, Mr. Harry? Well, yes, I did, but that was different. We didn't understand then that a dog might carry germs. What was your dog's name? Well, his name was Prince. He was a collie. Uh, did you have him a long time? Well, three years. And he was stolen. Collie, I bet you felt terrible about it. Well, yes, I did. That was many years ago, Beulah. I bet you cried your eyes out. Well, all right. If it gives you any satisfaction, I did. But I still maintain... I wish I could have been there to take care of you. Like I'm going to have to take care of Donnie when he cries about Strongheart. You, uh... You think he will? Oh, he's bound to, Mr. Harry. Just think how you felt when Prince was gone. How you missed him, running out to meet you when you come home and snuggling up close to you at night. I, uh, must be catching cold. Yes, sir. Beulah, when I make a mistake, I have the courage to admit it. 
Donnie ought to have a dog. Now you're talking. All right, then. It's settled. Now you get back to your work. You get back to your work, Miss Harry, because mine's all taken care of. Don't take it so hard, Donnie. Beulah's doing the best she can, and that's a powerful lot. It's no use, Bill. Mom and Dad just won't give in. They might. That girl can talk a preacher into doing the Charleston. Mom and Dad aren't preachers. They're parents, and parents don't understand. You just don't understand parents, Donnie. I never will. Well, you will not, because they both said it was okay for you to have a dog. Yippee! <laughs> thanks, you were thanks an awful lot. Donnie, you're growing up. You got your arms almost half around. <laughs> well, you better go and find Strongheart. Uh, do you think you can find him? Sure. He'll be right in Oak Street, right where I left him. I know he will. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are, Tyrone. Three months and no takers, but somebody ought to buy you at this price. How do you do? Something I can do for you today? Yes, I'd like to buy a dog. One that would be a good companion for a ten-year-old boy. I've got just the thing, right over here. His name is Tyrone, and you won't find a nicer, friendlier animal anywhere. He, uh, he doesn't seem to be very lively, does he? Well, he's just been taking a nap. Most of the time, he's full of pep and personality. Tyrone. Tyrone. Show the lady how frisky you are, Tyrone. <laughs> I guess he's just had lunch. Well, I don't think he's quite what I had in mind. Oh, what is this one over here? Oh, that's Anatole, a very fine French poodle. Oh, he's precious. I'm sure my little boy would just love him. How much is he? Fifty dollars. Oh, dear, that's more than I planned to pay, but he's irresistible. I'll take him. Well, I'm sure you can't go wrong with Anatole. Splendid dog. <laughs> Shall I wrap him? Mm -hmm. Oh, just a little joke, you know. I'm sure you'll find him very gay and lively. French blood, you know. <laughs> well, there you are. Thank you very much. Come on, Anatole. Mm -hmm. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Tyrone, I do my best for you. I build you up to everybody that comes in. Couldn't you at least wiggle an ear? Oh, well. Hello. Oh, how do you do? I'm looking for a suitable dog for my small son. <laughs> you don't have to look any further. There he is. Is it alive? Well, Tyrone's in a relaxed mood just now, but ordinarily he bubbles over with vigor. Come, Tyrone, show the gentleman what a bright, lively dog you are. No, he won't do. He looks like a bad job of taxidermy. Oh, there's a cute little fellow. May I see him? Why, of course. <laughs> Come here, boy. Nice doggy. Oh, I like him. How much is he? Thirty dollars. Sold. <laughs> Shall I wrap him? I beg your pardon? Oh, it's just a little joke. People do laugh now and then. <laughs> By the way, what's his name? According to the pedigree, it's Scallant Grenadier IV of Upper Sandusky. <laughs> I call him Max. No, I think I will, too. All right, come along, Max. Tyrone, you did it again. If you don't develop a more aggressive attitude, you'll never get a home. Come on, show me what a fine, lively dog you can be. He's French, what's he doing so far from home? Oh, Beulah, have you forgotten already? You convinced me that Donnie needed a dog, so I went out and got him one. Well, Beulah, what's wrong? Don't you feel well? Oh, nothing, Miss Alice. Just a touch of whatever I got a touch of. Where's Donnie? I can hardly wait to give him Anatole. Oh, he's out in the kitchen having a sandwich. Well, I'm not surprised after giving his lunch to that ridiculous dog he had. Donnie? Donnie, come here a minute. 
Why, that's your dog, Donnie. I just brought him home from the pet shop. You bought a dog? Mm-hmm. For me? Didn't Beulah tell you? I decided you should have one. Gee, but I thought... Gosh. Oh, what's the matter, Donnie? Don't you like him? Like him? I love him. He's just wonderful. Hello. Oh, I'm glad, Donnie. His name is Anatole. Hi, Anatole. My name is Donnie. Hi, boy. Well, Beulah, what do you think of the new member of the family? He's kind of cute, but looks like his hair's falling out in funny places. <laughs> it didn't fall out, Beulah. He was trimmed that way. Trimmed, huh? Well, the barber that done it must have been hitting the bottle. <laughs> For Donnie. It is, it is a real pedigree. His name is Max. Oh, what kind is he? He's a genuine German dachshund. Looked to me like he grew up under a mighty low coffee table. Ah, yes. What is that thing? He is not a thing. He happens to be a very fine French poodle, and I bought him for Donnie. Well, you can take him right back. Oh, do we have to? Well? Why not? All right, Donnie, you win. The Henderson family now has two dogs. Beulah, should I tell them? I reckon you better, Donnie. Mom, Dad, we have three dogs. Three? Beulah and I thought that you meant I could get Strongheart back. So I did. Oh, no. It was an honest mistake, Mr. Harry. He didn't know you was going to bring home a walking muff and a... Four-legged sausage. I just couldn't let Strongheart go again. I just couldn't. No, Donnie, that'd be too much to ask. We've gone this far. We'll we'll go all the way. Can I introduce Max and Anatole to Strongheart now? Well, we might as well get it over with. Where is he? He's out on the back porch. Oh. Oh, this one's yours. Oh, and that's yours. <laughs> all of a sudden, he stopped eating frisky, so I made a bed for him. What is it, Donnie? Look! <gasps> Those puppies. Are they his? Donnie, I think you got your dog tenses mixed. Strongheart ain't no him. He's a her. Seven puppies. Harry, we really have gone all the way. Well, why am I so stubborn sometimes? Three dogs and seven puppies makes ten. Uh, Miss Alice, I think we better take that model down off the wall that says Home Sweet Home. What do you mean, Bueller? And change it to Kennel Sweet Kennel. <laughs> Ten dogs. This place is going to look like a menagerie. Oh, take it easy, Harry. We'll just have to get used to it. It'll be great, Dad. You can teach them to bring your slippers. Oh, that ought to be quite a sight. Five dogs to each slipper. Excuse me for interrupting. Can I come in? No, it's all right, Bill. What is it? I got a little surprise here for Donnie. Oh, boy! Another dog. Yeah, that's right. When I heard the folks were ready to have Stronghorn back, I figured I wouldn't mind having another dog to keep him company. And what a bargain. Take a look at him. His name is Tyrone. Inflation. <laughs> <laughs> 